Greetings! Madam Twerks, the owner of the local brothel, came to me and asked me to come up with a special beer for her establishment that helps her clients feel liberated and awaken their inner beast. <laughs> I have the beer, but I don't know about inner beasts. You know anything that can make it wilder? And I think I know just the potion. I am not going to make just a simple libido potion, but I'm going to continue brewing from here to go up and we're gonna add a bit more spice to this with some nice rage. But first, the whirlpool. Hopefully this doesn't get ruined. No, it's perfect. Because there's no better combo than angry and horny. There, There's no way this could ever go wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. I only need a tier two, so this looks fairly perfect. It probably has tier three potential even. How will this end up? All right, there we go. Libido and rage. Am I going to save this cursed creation? No, I don't think so. Hopefully this is to your liking. It is perfect. 560. See, I was thinking you'd offer a little bit extra money and it seems that you're kind of scared of how spicy this potion can really be. I'll tell you, if you want wild, you're going to have a wild time down at the brothel with this. I mean, people might pull off the axe. I got hurt while I was trying to hurt someone else. I need to heal and <laughs> die. It's the herbs. Why are you always selling different herbs? You know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's just do some haggling. The bomb bloom. Actually, that's an arrow, but that's got some hella reach. That looks fun. Lava roots are fun. Oh, water blooms. I needed a ton of those. Terraria's. Life leaves, I needed so many. Healers, Heather, these are OP as hell. Cold leaf looks sick. Dream beats, awesome. I did meet some more rosemary. Spell bloom looks insane. Feather bloom is really good. Dragon pepper looks fun. I'm paying so much, but I have the money. You know, I always need some more fire bells. I'll always take those. I'll try dragon peppers. Those look fun. That's a lot of money on the table. I got some whole cups. Let's talk that down a little bit. Now I see where your eyes lay. Let me tell you, my eyes are up here, lady. And I wanna tell you about this cool food that I've been fooding. Oh, what, you'll pay less? Well, maybe I'll tell you about it next time. And another day of satisfied customers. I'm looking for two things, basic alchemy machine upgrade, as well as crystals that will teleport me to the right, just so I can more easily hunt for a necromancy potion. And then I can get going on the meta progression. But I'm enjoying the stuff in the meantime. Maybe you have an alchemy machine upgrade. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. So now I could do the next crystal if I wanted to. That's half my money. Listen, the alchemy machine's cool. But you know what else is cool? The weather. You know, tornadoes and shit. Uh, hurricanes and shit. That's all like cool stuff. Have a nice day. Hey, it's the herb lady. Yes, I will gladly buy some herbs and flowers. Flame weed. I always thought the weed needed a nice kick. Dream beats are cool. Thunder thistles, not a bad price. I did need a ton of tangleweeds. Whirlweed looks so much fun. I mean, you are just wowing me with these herbs. I mean, look how much I have. I can barely keep an organized inventory. I do like that there are ways to actually organize them. Oh, what the hell? I'm always going to buy basic wind blooms. Those are in all my recipes. Let's talk it down a bit. Let me tell you a story about the time it was raining, but then it got colder and then it stopped raining and then the sun came out and then the sun came out again and then it snowed and then it rained twice. Isn't that a great story? I, I'm glad you liked it so much that you gave me a discount. Oh, my shop has become more popular. I'm known throughout the kingdom. 40% higher price of potions, 75% more ingredients at merchants. Oh, a challenge. The potion helped me get some good sleep with multiple effects and three types of ingredients. Well, I do have a one ingredient sleep potion that I can continue from. So I just need to use two different ingredients for more effects. Health? Maybe health. Yeah, health sounds like it makes a ton of sense. So hopefully I can dodge these bones. Oh, that's going to kill me. Okay, well I'm certain I can do this with two ingredients. And let's just get away from the bones. Perfect. And now I can just go down, plain and simple. And I guess I only need a tier two. So I'll just 
go with that in mind. This will probably get me a tier two. Yeah. A little bit of healing with your sleep. Don't need to do much special to it. I doubt you'll pay me that much, but so oh, that's not bad of a price. I'll sell for that. Six popularity, nice. Oh, is the mushroom man. Probably wants a dexterity potion. Of course. Happy to help out a repeat customer. In exchange for cool shrooms. Finally, mad mushrooms. I was dying for those. Stink mushrooms on sale. Which mushrooms on sale? Oh my god, all the good mushrooms are on sale. That she just everything plainly is on sale. Water cap. These, these are cracked. I just bought out your whole supply. Say, so, hey, since you come by here often, do you have any books you'd like to recommend on uh, mushroom cultivation? Uh-huh. Ah, very cool. I'll check that one out. I'll keep it secret, though. If anyone's watching me, I wouldn't want them to know. Ooh, a libido potion that only has three ingredients. Ah, mine has four. Okay, I'll take a stab at it. How hard could this really be? I feel like I could do it with two. And honestly, the fewer the better. I don't see an easy way to do it with one, but I'm sure that doing it with two will not be that challenging. I can just go very far left with my flame weed and then just something to send me up and really that's all you need. And let's see, I mean, this is not an easy gap to get through. So I've gotta be sure that I'm nice and ready. And also the feather bloom, it's got a curve to it that I've gotta take into account when setting up this plant. I think this will work quite nicely. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And then I'll just go a little bit far north, so then when I go left, I'll be able to easily line it up with water. Hopefully this works. Because I don't know exactly when the line will match up. Actually, what if I go up here? Bring it in, because this brings it down, and oh, that actually looks like it'll cross wonderfully now. Hopefully I didn't overshoot. Ooh, beautiful. I am saving the hell out of this potion. You'll love it. Yeah, no questions asked. This is a nice potion. Your wife will love it. Actually, one question asked. How much are you willing to pay? In weather times like this, you know, payment does not work like how it normally does. And thank you for considering it. Another day, no right moving crystals. It's been a while, Alchemist. Need to buy or sell anything? Yeah, do you have any right-moving crystals? Yes, you come in clutch when the crystal man couldn't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how grateful I am. And what other, you know, I'll buy some of your other expensive stuff just to show you how much I appreciate what you can do. I'll even buy some of the super expensive stuff, like mushrooms and gold thorns, but you can keep the hairy banana. I know how proud you are of your hairy bananas. And I'll just talk about the weather with you. I mean, I am so relieved. It feels like the sun has come out in full, shining, just nothing but beautiful sun. Screw the objective weather. It's just how I feel is what's important. Have a nice day. And with the day being over, it's finally time to go potion hunting. You know what I think I've been called to do? I've been called to explore the whole damn map. There's just so much space of... Stuff that I haven't even seen yet. Oh god. And I think that just means venturing around the map until I find things that are actually upright. And I think there's probably only one upright potion left, and that's necromancy. At least that's what I would do. So I'll just sink a ton of ingredients that I don't use that much into helping me out. How about a boom bloom? Look at this thing go. And if necromancy is anything like how it used to be. It's like in a swirly, spirally path. It has this really weird, thin entrance. I don't know if I'll be able to find that. Hopefully they still have that. It would actually be a shame if they got rid of that. That was like one of the coolest things in the game where you had to like defy death to get in there. It was very thematic. I think I need to just end it before I spoil any more of the map for myself. Let's just kill off the potion. Because I have one more guess for where necromancy could be. Because it's, it's probably not in the Far Lands. It seems like the Far Lands is all for the Tilted Potions. There is this area, which maybe could possibly house necromancy. Like, it's about as far out as the Acid Potion. 
But the thing is, it's kind of in the same windy back rooms as all the other tilted potions. But if it's not there, it can't really be much of anywhere else. I'm gonna try continuing from acid potion. Cause I don't know, man, I'm just tired of searching. <gasps> oh, that's definitely it. Oh, that is 100% it. It's upright, it's in the spiral thing. In fact, I'll just save my acid potion cause I, I don't need to continue there. I'm gonna go for a strong necromancy potion. Praise be. This feels like I'll need one or two earth pyrites to make right. Okay, now to the bait on whether I want to do another Earth Pyrite. I could actually rather go Goldthorn. This curves beautifully for me. I'll do that any day of the week. Yeah, let's just see if I can keep going like around. This looks pretty clean as well. Not perfect, but pretty darn good. And well, if it sucks, it sucks, but I don't think it will. Sick. Okay, one more good potion away from getting there. I think it's actually gonna be Lust Mushroom plus water. It's got the exact angle I want. I've just gotta ease my way in. Yeah, just follow the line, bring it in a bit more. This looks beyond perfect. All right, I mean, this is 110% it, and it's a pretty good recipe, so I will save it. I wonder if it still has that funky entrance. I haven't found it yet, but I bet it, well, I hope it still does. That entrance was cool. But they did move necromancy. It used to be bottom right, now it's bottom left. It would have actually been funny if I talked about all that and it wasn't necromancy, but I had a pretty good feeling about it. So now for the void salt. Well, I'm off to a decent start. I do have my necromancy and the other ones don't get made as easily. That's a shame. How to make the invisibility plus fast movement next. So start with this potion and then I need to go, well, just get a double helping of fast speed. How about a little bit of water and healer's heather to help me just around the corner. I don't think I'll whirlpool on this one, especially since uh, hopefully I didn't back myself into a corner. Well, I did, but there is an escape, a very easy escape even. And basically two flame weeds will get me out easily. Just be careful to end up here. And then that looks pretty good. Bring it in. Two, two, that's what I'm talking about. Void, salt, swifty. And we'll save it. Because who knows how much more void salt I will need to make. Right there. And all the rest of these I have to make from scratch. Let's go easy to hard. I'll go double explosion, double sun next. Thankfully, those are close-ish to each other. I think I will go explosion, then sun. And frankly, if I'm going for explosion, why not bomb bloom? I'll do... I think another one works. It does. Might be better off with a mad mushroom, so I don't have to go any further north than I need to. That's a good start. And to the fire. And this'll do very well. Oh, don't accidentally do tier three. I mean, I guess it's very easy to undo. There we go. Save the recipe. First, the uh, void salt. Boom. Believe that one goes down here. Getting close. Now I'll do the double m strength, stone, skin, and slow. Where the hell's my slow? Oh, okay. They're all kind of together. That's not bad. Oh, and actually this whirlpool does a really helpful thing. Where I can just go in and teleport down below. How nice is that? First, second tier. And let's continue. Whoop. All right, good thing it's already spinning. And whoop. Two tiers of stone skin. And finally one tier of slow. And depending on this whirlpool, I might be able to ride it to victory. 
I don't know if I want to teleport with it, though. Yeah, I was actually thinking of something else. I was actually thinking of using Whirlpool plus water. Now I'm just kind of curious to see where this takes me. Hmm, but not that curious. I think I just want to get the damn recipe. I think I could have saved one ingredient with very careful use, though. That's okay. And saved. I'll just group all the void salt stuff together for when I need it again. And last but not least, the devil potion. Poison, fire, frost, explosion, lightning. Good lord. Oh, that's a little bit of everywhere. There's some down, there's some left, there's some right, there's some up. But it's only tier one of each. I think that just means I'll have to add a ton of water. That's one. And immediately I'm bringing back <laughs> with water. And straight up a single mushroom will get the job done here. Actually not doing bad on number of ingredients so far. Oh, that lust mushroom is so close to getting me there. Maybe? No, that's fine. Because I think a second lust mushroom is just perfect. Get that tier one. And keep it going. Do a nice little whirlweed since it gets a bit more XP. And then some water. Sweet. And one last thing, a little lightning. I'm trying to figure out which path is easier, the path from the beginning to lightning or going around the top. And you know, I think it's easier if I go from the beginning, actually. I've got spell blooms I haven't used much of. I've got some other long range ones that should get me a nice touch. Yeah, this will probably do. Oh, let's go. That, ladies and gents, is the Void Salt Ass Pain. Ass Pain. There we go. That'll get past the sensor. And that's all I need. Let's add it and finish it. Completing chapter five. A nice chapter in my life. God, I love the satisfying effects of the alchemy machine. There we go. Chapter six unlocked. I got Void Salt, which has actual use. It can re erase some of the built path. So if I've accidentally dug myself into a hole, Void Salt can say no. And it could probably do some other stuff with optimizing and maybe having single ingredient recipes. Oh, oh, next thing looks fun. Buy potion base oil. Not something I've seen before, but it might unlock something very special. I'm excited for next episode to try this stuff out. I'm going to call it a night here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all where I pick up next time in Potion Craft. Have a wonderful day and peace.